America. So, today, as you saw from the intro, we're playing with a Tech 22. I've owned this thing for a few days and it has been super, super fun. It's a super simple gun. It's mo mostly polymer and stamp metal. Even the sights are stamped. Everything is very cheap for the producer. It, it makes a good gun. I mean, you can see that from the AK-47 examples like that. Mostly stamp metal and things of that sort. It fires 22 long rifle. It also came in a 25 ACP version called the Tech 25. They were first produced in 1988. They were produced all the way up until 2000, and 2000 I think. Yeah, 2000. 88 to 94, they were called the Tech 22. And from 94 on, they were called the Sport 22. It is a super simple design, like I said. You can adjust the rear sights for elevation and the front sights for windage. It's got a screw underneath that you adjust and just swing it back and forth. It uses a Ruger 1022 magazine. This one is an actual Intratech brand and it's 30 rounds. And the magazine seat's kind of weird. It clicks in, but then it's got this little bit of a rocking motion until you lock the front part in. So if you don't lock that in, it's going to, you're gonna have some feeding issues. It's got an ambidextrous safety right here. And it's got a uh, it's got a storage compartment right here in the handle. Everything about this gun is simple. I mean, everything about this gun is simple. It's got a few pins and a few screws and a fruit, a few springs. And that's it. But all that put together makes for a really, really fun time. And as you know, simple is better. When you go over complicating things, that's when you run into trouble. I tell you what, I got a couple hundred rounds of CCI standard. We're gonna take this to the range and we are going to unload. Let's go do that. Okay, got my Tech 22. Got the magazine all loaded up with 30 rounds. Now, this thing loads kind of weird. So make sure you hear that click and then you're gonna to wanna to rock it forward so it's seated properly. So the mag magazine feeds correct. All right, let's see how accurate it is on these pop cans. Fighting tooth decay. All right. Oh, they did strike. That hit my thumb. I'm used to stacking high. Gotta watch that. Oh, I got him. Boy, that's smoky. Like shooting black powder. Got him. I think I just knocked him over. Oh yeah. Awesome. Man, this thing is a blast. It is just an absolute blast. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put some more rounds, top this off. Then I'm going to put it in Missy's hands and let her give it a try. The recoil is, it's balanced right. It looks awkward and you'd think it would feel awkward, but it really doesn't. Weight wise, it's not bad. It's balanced pretty good. It feels good in the hand. It doesn't look like it would. This thing is ugly. It looks awkward as hell, but it's a lot of fun to shoot. I mean, I just can't get enough of it. Oh yeah. Oh look. It's been doing that every once in a while. But it don't do it too often. Alright, that's Thing is so much fun. Woo! 
that gets very very smoky this thing is such a blast I if you can find one of these get your hands on one it it feeds fine I've heard a lot of people complain about these but I noticed when we cleaned it initially it ran like a dream through the first 150 or so rounds and then it started to jam a little bit here and there but it's not doing it very often not even once per magazine it's uh it's not doing too bad it's such a fun little gun but i think because the barrel's so short it's getting a lot of smoke i mean i'm going to set the camera up here a second and let you see from the sights and watch how smoky this gets at some points it even covers up the target but uh yeah let's do that <laughs> What'd you say about my mother, you great flavored freak? Yeah! Ah! <laughs> it jammed. Okay. Now these things ain't known to be super, super accurate. I got my homemade shooting C. Got my Tech 22. And my Eagle Sharp Vision. If I don't get a good group, it's all the gun's fault. It's jamming more now. Okay. Let's go look at it. All right. Not too bad. Not too bad. It is as bad as everyone says it is. Well, we have shot a couple hundred rounds already, and this thing is getting really, really dirty, and it's starting to jam more. Check that out. I had that pretty tight. You might want to watch that. Make sure your thread covers tighten down. But uh, yeah, this thing has been super fun. Like, this is a plinking fun house right here all wrapped up in a little black package and they call it a scorpion we are going to take this back to the bench and take it apart and look at what makes it tick but before we do that i'm going to turn it over to missy and she's going to tell you a little bit about the people behind this gun founded by george kelgren and carlos garcia intratech began in 1985 in miami florida the company was originally called intradynamic usa and was a subsidiary of a swedish company called intradynamic ab Due to the poor firearms market, Interdynamic AB set up the subsidiary of the same name to sell their KG-99. Eventually, George Kelgren left the company and founded Keltec CNC. Co-founder Carlos Garcia renamed the company from Interdynamic USA to Intratech and rebranded the KG-99 to the now infamous Tech-9. The company's Tech-9 was made famous as the villain's choice of weapon in the 1980s TV show Miami Vice but the spotlight helped boost sales of the company's firearms, who at the time also did business as Navgar. Then the image of the company's flagship firearm, the Tech 9 was tainted further when it was used in a series of gang murders, and most famously in the Columbine shootings. In 1999, the company came under investigation by the ATF and was also fighting various lawsuits. Intertech finally closed its doors in 2001. Okay, you guys ready for the super complicated disassembly of this? Now, before I do that, I forgot to give you the dimensions. This gun, empty, weighs 1.8 pounds and is 11.1 inches long. It has a four inch barrel. 
It's 1.6 inches wide and 6.1 inches tall. And it feels really good in the hand. It isn't oversized. And like I said earlier, it's, it's strangely, it, it feels good in the hand. Like I said, it's ugly and uh, all that, but it looks good in the hand. Now this barrel is threaded. Like the AK-47, it has a button right here on the back of the receiver. I'm gonna drop the magazine, clear it. I push the button in, it raises up just like that. Then you're ready to take it apart. And to do that, you're gonna grab the charging handle right here, pull back and lift out and the whole unit comes out. How simple is that? Here's your firing pin. Here's your extractor. Boy, look how dirty that got. But that's a couple hundred rounds right there. And like I said, at first it was shooting like a dream and the dirtier it got, the more jams you had, but it's a 22. 22s are dirty, dirty guns. Now, the firing mechanism, the trigger group, and the hammer, it is all very basic, and it reminds me of an AK-47. It's got a simple spring, a simple spring holding the, uh, the sear, and the secondary sear, and it's, like I said, it is super, super simple. And to take those out, you're gonna drop these pins right here. And uh, that whole group comes out. It's just a block sits down in there. I'm not gonna take it apart in this video. But uh, just know, it's, it's not that hard. To take out the magazine catch, it's just a simple pin right here. Just drive that out, the magazine comes out. And you got a spring in there holding that. And even the magazine release is super, super simple. It works a lot like an AK-47. It's just a lever that latches on the inside here, latches on to the back of that nub. And the front of that nub sets in a space right up in here. I don't know if you can see that or not. It sits in a space right there. So this nub catches on the back of that catch and the front nub sits in that space right there underneath the barrel. And that is how you disassemble the Tech 22. It's super easy. You, you will be hard pressed to find a simpler gun than this. To put it back together, you're gonna put the block in, set it down in there, push in the latch, close it, you're ready to go. Glocks aren't even that simple. And that is the Tech 22. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And you can also support us on Patreon if you like what we do here on this channel. Because YouTube hates us. Link down below. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, stay safe and keep shooting America. Full beard manly.